This call is now being recorded. Okay, so once again, good morning everyone who will join later. And, and, so today you have English exam, right? If I'm not mistaken, today is English, English and grammar. You remember that I love you. I love you. We have got English today. English subject. Or some other subject. Yeah, I Yes, Almas, Hojani Zainab. Yes, sir. It's a big reaction. We have English today test. Okay. So we revise this chapter 11. You have got uh, two chapters 10, 11. <coughs> yes. Let's revise this first, then we'll continue in grammar. So, who would you like to read it? Would you read it? Ilsha, would you read? Ilsha. Yes, anyone who would like to read? Chapter number 11, Wishing. Minutes. Number one, spare, space. Number two, accumulating, collecting. Number three, folly, foolishness. Number four, and old board meeting with human word. Number one, the knot of an oak tree. Uh, Ma'am, I think uh, the mic uh, is. Oh. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, no problem. So, meanings, uh, given word is, uh, is only one over here. Sphere, meanings, sphere, space, accumulating, collecting, folly, foolishness, error, and old word meaning before. And oft is often. And given word, the nut of an oak tree, the corn. Yet. Yes, uh, then read the question answers. Question answers. Number one What does the poet ask us to do to make the world better place? Answer the poet ask us to set a watch upon our actions and keep them straight and true. If we read our minds of selfish motives and let our thoughts be clean and high, we can make the world a better place. So this is motives, selfish motives. And, okay, yes, continue. Question number two. Summarize the stanza which talks about making the world wiser. Answer. In the second stanza, the poet says that to make the world wiser, 
we should start by collecting wisdom in our hearts, avoiding foolishness. We should keep learning as we journey through life and learn to live well. Before we can teach others anything, we should be ready to receive knowledge ourselves. Here actually it should be, uh, you have to add that word, be, uh, do I need if you are not written. We should be ready to receive knowledge ourselves, yes, so that was the second question. Question 3. Question 3. Are you reading? Okay, now remaining Sakina. Read question number three and answer three. Is hey that Bimani Sakina? Yes, sir. So, number three, you will read. Are you reading or not? Number three. How will the small act acts of kindness help to make the world a happier place to live in? Answer: Acts of the kindness can make the world a happier place. Many can benefit from someone's deed of kindness. The poet takes the example of a person who might have planted a crowd. Long, long, ago, long ago, the oak tree that has the strong up from the alcohol gives the shade to the body who does manage it. Beneath. Beneath. It. Number four. How, what? What? Why would you say the poem begins each stanza with a question? Answer. Your voice is... Voice has stopped coming. Again, are you reading it? Because your voice is not reaching you. I think your mic is not working. Okay. Your voice is not reaching you, sir. No problem, it's okay. Mm. Okay, Miss Bell, continue if your mic is working. Madhavan is enough. Madhavan is enough. Sorry, she left. Upa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Zena, will you read now from number four? Okay. Fourth, why do you think that poet brings each stanza with her question? The poet seems to want to know whether her readers want the world to be a better, wiser, 
or finger plates as as much as she wants it to be it, it to be that way fist is the stone of the poem optimist or pessimistic give example from the poem to support your answer the tone of the tone is defi- definitely optimist because the poet tells us how we can improve the world she believes that human beings can do a great deal to change themselves and the results their surroundings and surrounding she also gives as the example of someone planting an account that has now become an oak tree providing shade and shelter to many people okay so here the tone of the poem is optimistic or pessimistic that is asked so i hope you know the meaning what what are the meanings of these words anyone who can tell me i had explained you already what are the meanings hello can you tell me so without understanding the question how will you learn the answer no one who can tell me the meanings of these words these are common words which are spoken yes anyone saya mas modesa ispa zainab no one strange you know the meaning without knowing the meaning how would you know that the tone of the poem is optimistic right you don't know at least you can tell me sir we don't know optimistic is cheerful positive right cheery or positive pessimistic is opposite of optimistic means negative gloomy so when a person is optimistic he always sees positive in each and every situation pessimistic is someone always looks at the negative side of the things always thinks negative now did you understand so the tone of the poem is optimistic yes, poet talks about making the world kinder wiser happier so definitely the tone is optimistic if you change yourself then the surroundings will change if you change yourself the people around you will change so definitely the tone is optimistic and uh, even while explaining the poem i told you while we read the question answers for the first time then you should know the meaning so in your fair book see, see that you write this word me so why you would make mistake if the question is asked it is not printed okay let me just open the pdf uh present the screen in just a second after opening the pdf I'm not leaving it I'm just opening the pdf so just a minute
de que el más digno? Yes, sir. Chapter number 10. A gift to love meanings. Tongas and ikas, horse drawn vehicles, rustic, unsophisticated villagers, give one word, an open air enclosure, enclosure where eid, pray, eid prayers are offered, eidga. An infectious disease that affects the stomach and intestines, cholera, a residential area near a town or city but away from its center, the suburbs, to look at something with your mouth open, gape. Okay, so here also, uh, I hope uh, that in fair book you have made this correction as you have got the textbook also. Because while uh, auto correction is working on it, it happens sometimes that the uh, spelling goes wrong over there. So please see that uh, you make this correction, do it right now, or just note down somewhere so that you don't forget it. Okay? And so the two meanings and four given words. True or false? Mm. Rupani Zaina, read it. Rupani Zaina. Zaina. Rupani Zaina, are you there? Okay, uh, Sarah, will you read? Yes, sir. Okay, so please read this to our phones. To our phones. Number one, Hamid's parents will accompany him to the fair. False. Hamid believes that his parents will come back. True. Hamid, like the other children, Wants to buy toys. False. Hamid buys sweets at the Idga. False. The other children share the things with Hamid. False. The other children like Hamid's pair of tongs in the end. True. Okay. And Odessa, is your throat okay now? Will you be able to read? Or still not well? Yes, sir. Are you okay now? Yes. Read. Uh, CF, you have to read. CF, the boys are eagerly waiting to go to the Eidga. Number two, Abira Gross said, said when she hears that Hamid wants to go to the Eidga. Number three, everything in the town looks strange to village children. Number four, Hamid doesn't buy any toys because they cost two pesa each. Besides, they could break easily or, or pain could run and they are of no use to him. Number five, instead he buys a pair of tops for his grandmother. When, number six, when Habib tells his grandmother why he bought the pairs of tops, she is deeply moved by Habib's selflessness and hugs him. Okay. <laughs> Uh, isn't joining. 
Sometimes uh, she is there. Rajani Sanya. Rajani Sanya. Will you read this question answers, Sanya? Miss Ba, I think uh, there is some problem with the network. If you want to ask, if you want to tell something, you can uh, type it. Sanya is not answering. Rupan is saying up. She is not. She is also not answering. Yes, sir. Okay. So read question answers. Okay, sir. Question answer number one. Our small party of village rustic is not bothered about about the poor about the poor show they make. Number A, who, refer, who is referred as village rustics here? Answer, the village rustics are Hamid and other boys from village. Number B, what do the word poor show mean? They are not as well dressed as other people headed towards the Indian who are wearing perfume and traveling, traveling in horse-drawn carriages, carriages and motor cars. Since the group from the village is not grand and the phrase poor show is used to describe them, appearance and the impression they create. Mm -hmm. Number three. Appearance. Appear, appearance and impression they create. Number mm -hmm. C. How, the, how are the village classic described? They are happy to be themselves and find everything in the town as, as usual. Unusual. Un unusual. As they Gap at everything. In wonder, Hamid Hamid is almost run run over by a car. Number two, he had he had offer he had he cannot he cannot afford to part with the thought of his stranger. A few. A few miserable rounds. Miserable. Number A. Number A. What rounds are referred to here? The rounds are the 25 rounds on a round round bunt with wooden wooden elephant, horses and and camels that one enjoy by paying paying one pay. Paying one paisa. Roundabout. Roundabout with wooden wooden elephants, horses, and camels that, that one can enjoy by enjoy by paying one paisa. Mm -hmm. Number B. Why are the rounds described as mis miserable? Miserable. <laughs> Answer. Answer the rounds and describe as miserable because to Hamid they do not they do, they do not seem worth the one paisa that um, he would have to pay for them. One paisa is a lot of money for him, as as it, it is a third of his treasure. Number three, what was Hamid treasure? Hamid treasure was the sum of three paisa. Okay, so here in this question again the word is asked. Miserable. 
right? Miserable round. So what is that word? Do you know the meaning? Round about uh, at miserable rounds for Amit. The rounds were miserable. Merry go round. Okay, that is round about. But miserable rounds means what? What the meaning of this word? Because even there is a question. Why are the rounds described as miserable? Miserable means what? Costly. No, not costly. So, before you go on the questions, you should know the meanings of them, some words, otherwise uh, it's not good. <clears throat> so, when you don't know the meaning of some word, you should even know. Yes, Zainab? Unhappiness. Hmm, unhappy, sorrowful. So, you should know the meanings of these words while writing the answers. Few miserable rounds, because for Ahmed, it was uh, it was not something to be happy. It was something which was sorrowful because he cannot part for, with one thought of his treasure. So it was unhappy, it was a sorrowful thing for him. So there were miserable rounds for him. Actually the rounds were not miserable. But for Hamid they were. Yes, who do you read now? Who will read? Whose ID is this? Yes, Pujani. Yes, Pujani. Whose ID is that? Zainab. Handful and grateful today and every day. Okay, Zainab, read it. Nice DP you kept. Read it. Then your mic is not working. Okay. Then uh, Lakhani, two are there. One is uh, Mahek Lakhani, one is Neelam Lakhani's ID. Lakhani Zainab, it is. Yes, Zainab Lakhani. Read this. Zainab Lakhani. Hmm. I will come to know how many are not answering. Almas, read it. They can't afford to part. 
Chapter number 10 A gift to love fill in the blank His father died last year of cholera and his mother died soon after The moment Amina hears Hamid wants to go to the Eid Gah she became sad Next to the sweet vendors there are a few hardware stores The pair of dogs wins over everyone to its side as soon as he reaches home Amina runs out of the house and kisses him and uh, as you know that there was a mistake i hope you have correct corrected it have you corrected this mistake yes or not yes sir till it is uh, chapter 11 for 8 eight, uh, eight standard your chapter 11 is wishing so i hope you have corrected it yes yeah everyone have you all corrected it yes sir hmm yes so read it sir i read yes read it there i am mubashira yes different to context number 1 state of what upon your action keep them always straight and true a what do the word set a watch upon your action mean answer set a watch upon your action means that we should be careful talking care to do right rather than wrong taking care B. Why does the point? Why does why does the poet want used to do so? Us. Answer. The poet wants used to do so because being good ourselves is the first step towards bringing about change. C. What will happen? if we fail follow the poet advice answer if if we follow the poet advice we can create a we can create a per- perfect way of life number 2 do not waste one page on folly different li- life to learn and mm-hmm. learn live to learn and l- learn to live a what folly does the poet talk about answer the poet talks about the folly of d- drifting through life without acquiring knowledge she believe she believes that we must never stop learning b what page is referred to her answer yeah. answer the poet talks about the heart as a scrapbook in which wisdom is stored metaphorically speaking not one page of that scrapbook should be wasted on foolish thoughts See why must we live to learn and live to learn to live question one answer we must live to learn and learn to live because only then can we acquire knowledge of a wise way to lead our lives and lives lives impart it in turn to others okay thank you everyone and revise your lessons properly okay sir okay sir. okay so bye everyone bye sir bye sir have a nice day have a wonderful day mr bar now your mic is off okay
Bye, sir, and have a nice day. Hello. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Very good morning. Very good. Morning. How are you? All. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, beta. How are fine, you doing? Fine, ma'am. All of you. Yes. I have to be fine. When you all are fine, I got to be fine, beta. Okay, let's start then. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we continue with lesson number 16, that's water and natural resources.